Praise God. Hallelujah to the Lord Jesus. Amen. So we thank the Almighty God for today. Open level daily devotional. Written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Yadiboye. And today is Wednesday, 31st of August 2022. So we thank God today is the last day of the month of August 2022. We give glory to God. And uh, as on tomorrow, we start the Hember month. Start the Hember month from tomorrow. So the topic for today is take care of pastors. I say, take care, take care of pastors. Actually, we know who pastor is. We know whom pastors are. Abi? Okay. So, the Baba is encouraging us to take care of them because it is in line with the word of God. So, the memory was read to all was taken from Ezekiel chapter 44 verse 30. Ezekiel 44 verse 30, and he says, And the first of all, the first fruit of all things, and every oblation of all, of every sort of your oblations, shall be the priest. Ye shall also give unto the priest the first of your dough, that he may cause the blessing to rest in thy house. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. The passage read to us was taken from Second Kings chapter four, verse eight to thirty-seven. Second Kings chapter four, verse eight to thirty-seven. It's a very long passage. But, uh, if I may paraphrase it, it says it was a story of Elijah, Elisha and uh, Shunammite woman. Elisha being a man of God, he always passed through that, the, the house of that Shunammite woman frequently. He just pass, go, come back. He passed through the place to and fro, often. The woman noticed it. It was not Elisha that requested it for it. It is the woman that knows it that it seems this man is having a problem. The problem is that he travels here often. And uh, he has no place to rest. At least if he wants to travel... This is a very long distance journey from his place to where he was going. And this is a halfway. So he can just rest here. Get to where he's going. When he's coming back, he rests and go back. So and that time there's no hotel. So it's as if somebody wants to travel from here to Maduguri, Bono State. He take you Three days. They are nice journey. Three days to travel. So the best thing is that if you want to go to Maduguri, you have to take you have to rest. You have to rest on the road. Or let's say let's say somebody wants to travel from here to From air to just. From air to just. It will take you two days. Because from air to Akaduna, it will take you like, uh, I mean, from air to Abuja, it will take you like almost 12 hours because of the bad road now. So if you leave this April by 7, you know, you will not get to Abuja until around eight, and from Abuja to Jos, that will take you like another six hours. 
So if you say you want to make it in a day, it take you like uh, if you leave this place eight o'clock, it means that you eight and uh, seven a.m. It means that you not enter jobs until around twelve in the night, which is very risky. So let's assume that was the journey Elisha was planning then. So the woman now said, let's let's create a place for him. It's as if you travel from here and you get to like Lokoja, you sleep. When you travel from here, you get to Lokoja around, you get to Lokoja around three. Yes. You sleep. You sleep. So, and you take kick off from Lokoja again, second day to Jaws. So you get to Jaws around 2 or 3 again. Are you getting my point? So let's say that's how the journey looks like. So the woman now break the journey. You should not have one break the journey. So if the man of God is coming from Ibadan, when he gets to um, Shunat, Shumat, I mean, oh? Shun, uh -huh. When you get to that place, uh, Elisha will rest. So the woman created a room for him. Put the table there, put bed, put candlestick. He just approached the husband. And the, the husband granted him. And he used to rest there. So if he's going like that, he will stay. And lock up that rest. Second day, move to Joss. When he finished everything, once was being Joss and he was coming back. He will stay at Lokoja again, rest before moving to Ibadan. That's how it was doing. Elisha was Elisha was doing it. So it makes the journey of Elijah to be more interesting and uh, uh, not stressful, eh? and not stressful. So he removes stress from Elisha. He removes stress from Elisha. So Elisha now find us. Yeah. So what's the need of this woman? This woman is too is too caring. What is, because when you get there, you will feed them, you give them food, they will eat, they will sleep, you give them water, they will bath, they will ah. What, what should I do for this woman? He said, guys, go and ask her. And guys said, ah, she needs nothing but she has no child. Child? Child? Ah. Okay, no catalog listen. Lash and ah. Yeah, okay, you. Okay, you know, got along with your mom. Don't go off me. And when the woman came, the woman stood by the door. And by this time of the year, according to the time of the year, this year, you have your own child. The woman said, I beg, okay? <laughs> I just say, make you the call here, rest. Let me say, make you the come and tell me story. Don't lie to me. I'm already, uh, I don't need it. My husband is old. Everything. That is the word of God. You can go. So even the woman does not even believe. There's a miracle that doesn't need your faith. A miracle. A miracle at one. I need the, I need the bag. When you meet some men of God, we have different type of prophets. And we will have some of only as a Russia. Come what me. In Kazan what you saw, I beg you. They will not even tell you that says the Lord. I can't so when you buy ye, don't you marry? I shall I shall give no give you all anymore. And if they say like that, oh my shan, whether you like it or not. And it came to pass, the woman gave birth. What a bimo, oh my dear. Your common one, she he has a problem and she died. He died. And you know, the woman went back to Elijah. In fact, she laid the guy boy on the bed of Elijah. And he, he, she did not even tell her husband. The woman, the man said, Oh, all is well. Why do you want to go and see Elijah? He said, All is well. I'm coming. Just give me a car. Give me a car because those days they are using a horse. So just like a car. Give me a car and a driver. No, 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 no. 
So the woman drove like Koloko to Ibadan. They come and see the man of God. And the man, oh, no problem, it is well. He grabbed his leg and said, This is what happened. Uh, okay, you. Elisha, tell you, take this rod. Tell you, take the rod. Oh, yeah, yeah. And back, I don't know, go down. And nothing happened. Elisha went himself. You know, Kelly, how important the woman is to Elisha. Kelly, my people were in Lani and you bring a man to Elisha. And Elisha knew it. Phone right. Oh, food, you can't see it. Yeah, well, Elisha used to be a very busy man. A man that general used to come and pray. I want to bar. Elisha had to call me, yes. You have to call now, one will lead to your prayer. And when you are a little bit of a migrate level at the Kodiak Bull, I want level Yalata, a little one era, a lot of two era, a jar for a four long, or my twenty senior lapu. Elisha is a Kodiak Bull level. People that come to greet Elisha was the kings, the generals. I want to remember the four Adura. Elisha was an international prophet. So, the Kuni and all of my young very daddy, I want Yal Dube, I want to go to my work. I don't think Bill Kuru never was. So, in one word, he a very, was a very, very busy man. Very busy. But because the woman was so valuable to him, Elisha. Because of his busy schedule, all corner, he first of all sent um, Giasi. Giasi, please go and do this quickly. Um, let me attend to all these people first. Maybe there are some kings and whatever I wanted to pray for. But when there was no result, Elisha left everything and follow the woman herself. I mean, by himself. And the Lord did the miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. So with that, I think you can do so many things. And our Father and the Lord, Father, they will explain. He said our pastors, they are the representatives of God. But you see, the reason why we don't always count them is that we see them every day. If I say I want to smile and see my pastor and pastor back, how many minutes will it take me? Eh? How many minutes? Will it, even if I call, Daddy, are you around? Say, yes, I'm around. I will come and see you. Come, 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 come. Because we have access to them every day, we take them for granted. Oh, Joa Lujumo. We are asked. The Holy Spirit in them cannot be taken for granted. The same prayer, I mean, the same Holy Spirit that Baba Adeboye is praying to, eh? the same Holy Spirit they too are praying to, the same God, our Father in heaven, that Baba Adeboye is praying to, that Baba Kuhi is praying to, that Baba Adeboye prayed to before he died, the same God, all these local pastors too, the same God they are praying to, and the same God is using them. So why should we take them for granted? We shouldn't take them for granted. We should not. We should not look at them. We should, we should take them serious and value every word from their mouth. Every word from their mouth. We should value. Is that the reason why we don't receive miracle? Most times. Because we are, we live the land where Jesus Christ said it. Only a prophet does not have honor in his hometown. We live the land where more. So we will now be running from pillar to post to see a man of God. To see a man of God. We're running from pillar to post. Whereas if we have faith, 
our men of God in our local branches, they are men of God too. I'm not saying that we shouldn't see a man of God. Though. No, that's not what I'm saying. There are times that God may send, may send some men of God to us, and we have to see them and pray. But the one that God puts beside us, that is siding with us, we should not commonize them too. Then we should research for their needs. Don't let them wait until they come and meet with that. Ah, when we are doing, I need, um, I need um, paracetamol. I just use that as an example because Mom Abe is the custodian of life. So, I, don't wait until they come to you. You should think of it. I mean, you should pray. Let the Holy Spirit lead you to them. You should research. I notice, I notice that our pastor should, should better come and walk. But you know, you just but I come and say one the time. Oh, come whooping you, and you know that ah, let me buy a shoe for this one. And you go ahead, and you get a shoe for him. And actually, if that is his niece, he will be so happy. Abi, he will be so happy. He will be so happy, very very happy. He will be so happy. And he will bless you from his heart. Oh, I know this queen. I want to tell you. I know this queen. I want to tell you. 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 For example, yesterday I saw him in a for Kanaisa. Day before yesterday, too. I saw him. With uh, on Okada, I asked him, he said uh, his tire was flat. So, you know, when you notice such a thing, you will not go extra mile to get a tire. You don't need to tell him, without the genuine tire. No, you just say, get a tire and fix it. And when you get a tire and give it to him and he fixes it, he will be very happy. You say, ah, God bless you. And when he said, God bless you, make wisdom. So Baba gave an example of, uh, of a time when he was a lecturer at the uh, University of London. You know, Baba he used to be a lecturer before. So he now moved from University of Lagos to University of London. So in the house I wanted to use, um, he has to do some electrical work. So a brother from Lagos volunteered to come and do it. And the man did it. And when the man wanted to go, instead of the man to ask for workmanship, he did not ask. He said, just give me a transport fare. And the man left. And Baba said, God bless you. On getting to the park, the car park, the Lord just connected the man with another guy of a business. And within weeks, he bought a car. Has God blessed him or not? If he has collected money, Probably the man of God may not say God bless you, and even if we say God bless you, he will bless. God bless you may not have anointing. <laughs> he may not have, may not carry such an anointing. Can you see God? So whereas these days things have changed, you will see people they will go and work for their pastor, and they will still collect money. They will still charge him as if they are charging a customer. Forgetting that that man is a man of God, is a representative of God. Anyway, things have changed. Even some, some so-called pastors. Anyway, don't let us talk of that. We are focusing on the people now, the people of reactions. So, it is wrong. If you, if you work for your pastor, just believe that you are working for God. And do everything that will make him happy. Some people will go and work for their pastor. They will even do fake work. Want to share, share, and jump back. Want to go. What a cost. They are costing themselves. 
Eh? You go and, okay, for example, your pastor wants to build a house. So he gave you, you are a bricklayer in the church. He did not even call you. You are the one that went to him. Ah, uh, Daddy, I can do the money. Buying she. Whatever she had, okay, no problem. He gave you the contract that you should go and do the work. And out of 10 bags of cement, you stole two. Or you stole three out of it. Eh? Otu ji cement ya ku meji. Or ya ku meta. You say, Pastor. Che, once they have stole the three bags of cement, will the work be quality again? The work will not be quality again. And at the same time, you will still collect workmanship. And if the pastor at the end of the day, and the pastor may not know, but God sees the man, Abby, at the end of the day, he collected the money, he stole the three bags of cement and left. And at the end of the day, God sees, and the pastor will say, ah, Thank you, bro. Your wale, my bro Kune, our bro Samuel. Thank you so much. God bless you. That kind of God bless you. What will it turn to? No, be God punish you. <laughs> now that does it. That kind of God bless you because the man does not. He just, he just said, he just. You collected money. You stole cement. You did not do the right work. And the man of God still say, God bless you. You know that that one, uh, typical God punish you. And, <laughs> and the man will be punished by God. He'll be punished by God. So let's be careful. Instead of, um, instead of provoking the causes from our pastor, let us provoke his blessing. And the way to do that is to make sure that we... We, we bless them. We care for them. Bless your pastor. Care for your pastor. Wherever you go, wherever you go in life, see your pastor as a man of God, as a servant of God. And see that whatever you do for him, it is God that you do it for. And God himself will bless you. Because the Bible even said it. Jesus said it. Say, when I was naked, you did not cover me. When I was uh, sick, you did not check on me. When I was hungry, you did not feed me. The disciple asked, when, 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 when were you in all these things? He said, ah, when you do it for your neighbor, you have done it for me. Your pastor is your neighbor. Do it for your pastor, and you have done it for God. Then moreover, we have some other neighbors around too, that God can send you to them. But today we are talking about your pastor, our focus on your pastor. So take care of your pastor, and uh, if you take care of your pastor, you see, God Almighty God will take care of you too. I pray the Almighty God will bless you. Mm-hmm. So like Baba, I think we have encouraged us that today, today, look for something that your pastor we appreciate, even if it is just a word of encouragement, and give it to him today. Amen.